In this video, we will learn how to create and use named constants in Java. To understand what do we mean by named constants, consider the following example. If we read the code, we will probably be able to make some sense out of it. We have an item price, total tax, which is the item price multiplied by a number, and then displayed after being added to the item price. This code calculates the total price of an item after tax. So this means that this literally represents the tax rate, but for what state? Also, if we have a very long code in which this literal is repeated, and then eventually the tax rate changes for that state, do we need to go and replace all of these literals? And what if we miss one of them? As you write more codes, you will create many programs that have data that doesn't change or change over a long time. If you use literals, like in this case, it can be very hard to read and maintain your code. Especially after some time, you will probably forget what this number represents. To solve this problem, we need to replace the literals with names, identifiers. This way we can use the names that are easier to read. Also, if this number eventually changes, we have a single place in the program to change it, and this will take care of it. This means you avoid the risk of missing one of the literals or inaccurately change one of them to the wrong value. So what do we mean by a name or an identifier? Is it a variable? Well, it could be. But a variable can also have a problem. Any part in the code, you can accidentally change the variable. Instead, what we want is a constant, a value that doesn't change. This is what we mean by name constants, a constant that has an identifier. Then how do we define this? We use the final keyword to define a constant. We also use the regular data types that we use to work with in variables. We give it an identifier name, which is similar to variables, will hold a single value. Also, the convention is to use all uppercase letters with the words separated by underscores. The constant doesn't need to be assigned a value when you declare it. However, again, like variables, it will need to be initialized before you use it. Once you initialize a constant, be that in the declaration statement or after it, it can be changed programmatically. What we mean by that is that you cannot write a Java statement that can go and change that value. Applying this to our problem, we can get the following code where the constant replaces the literal. This is the demo for the named constants, and this is the, um, the code that we have with a literal, which doesn't make much sense. You cannot know what, what that value represents. But it works, it works and it gives you the, the required results. Uh, now, as we said, you could declare a constant by using the final keyword, followed by the data type and then the name which is the naming convention to make it all uppercase separated by, by, by uh, underscores. However, if you use something different, um, Java will work, right? So I could, I could, for example, replace all of this by saying, for example, tax, right? And it, it, it will work if I replace everything in tax, so it works, right? However, that's not a good naming convention. People who read the code will not understand what what that is it would be confusing for for them to see final but uh, a lower all lower case so it has to be a constant in a way uh, that, that you can actually distinguish this all uppercase and, and all right so once you declare this then you can go and replace that line with this line here that uses that new constant in so again you can you can run it it's going to give you all right, so one thing that we want to, to say here is that I could declare without assigning a value. So I could, for example, here, I could uh, here, and then I'm going to declare it. Of course, if I try to use it without assigning, it's not going to work. So I have at least to assign a value to it before I use it. Now, where do you, where do you assign the value? It could be here in the initialization, or it could be just I go here and, and separately define the value for the first time or assign the value for the first time and it works all right 
Now notice here that at any point, if you try to go and reassign a value to it programmatically by, by having this line of code that tries to assign 0 0.5, 0 0.05 to that constant, it's not going to work. You see, you have since you once you declare it, you have one opportunity to define it programmatically or to assign a value to it. After this, you cannot do it. So this way you protect that constant it cannot be changed anywhere in the code. Of course, programmatically not being able to change it doesn't mean that you cannot change it at all. You can go and open the source code, go and manually set the value, and then recompile and run your code. Right? In this case, uh, that's that's allowed. Another example of the constants is the constant that comes with the math class. Uh, Java defines the pi, and you will find here that it matches what we just said all uppercase so the pi is defined in the math class as um, all uppercase pi for pi uh, and it comes with math.pi you can you can access it through this now here notice here that since it's defined as a constant you cannot assign a value to a final variable so people who wrote the math class defined pi as a final variable uh, sorry a final uh, final um, uh, constant right or a constant using the final keyword and that's why we cannot go and assign a value to it programmatically anyway. So I'm going to uh, comment this one and then let's try and print it, right? So let's try and go and print this one. Let's comment this one here too. So let's go and try to, to print whatever that value is and see how people define it. You see, they defined it very accurately here. It's 